Thank you for joining us today. In this session, we will discuss configuring the link services for Office 365. In order to get to this location, please access the Microsoft Online Portal and click Manage under Link. In the first pane, you will see the overview. It will indicate whether you have Domain Federation, PIC, or Public IAM Connectivity enabled, Presence Privacy Mode, and mobile phone notifications. First thing you will see in the users section is a list of each of your users. You have the option to edit each of the users and configure the dial-in conferencing external communications and I am audio video and conferencing for each individual user. If you want to do the dial-in conferencing in bulk there is also a drop-down menu. You can export user list, import user configuration file, or disable for selected or all users. Under the next tab is the external communications. What this allows you to do is domain federation mode allows you to federate with other customers using link and, more specifically, other customers using Link Online for O365. In order to modify this, you click Edit, and this gives you three options, either to disable federation, to turn on external federation with all except block domains, or a restrictive list of turning it off except for the domains you allow. Basically, this allows you to turn on federation for uh, and federation is the ability to uh, connect via IM and uh, very importantly the, the video functions to other customers with link on either on premise or in O365. And once you select which, you then get a add a domain link, which allows you to add either blocked or added domains, whichever you chose to use. Now PIC, Public IAM Service Providers, allows you to IAM with other IAM providers such as Yahoo Instant Messenger, or, uh, MSN Messenger, etc. You select yes, you select yes again, and then once this is set up, it can take up to 24 hours for users to be able to use this. After that, users can freely IM other service providers. The next options that you have to configure is presence and notification, presence privacy mode, and what this allows you to do is to enable uh, basically free busy or presence for each of your users when a individual adds a user to their or to their IM, it will show their presence. You can have this disabled by default unless that you and that user can override it by adding that user to their own contacts in link. The final option that you have is mobile phone notifications. Now you notice that it indicates Microsoft push notification service and Apple push notification service. What this does is when you are using the application, uh, the Link Mobile app for either a Windows phone or an iPhone, they, while the client is active, there's no problem. But once the client is minimized or you switch to a different app without closing down the application, it goes into a paused state. And what the push notification service does is basically provides a prompt indicating that you are receiving a IM request or update uh, in the Windows phones it looks like a text notification but when you select it it will bring up the Link mobile app and if this is not on then it means that the user will only receive updates when they have the app live. Have a great day and thanks for attending.